Well, finally, after taking off the faceplate, after taking apart the metal frame, after taking out the cassette compartment, after taking out the eject um, part, I can finally reach the stupid little idler wheel which is responsible for rewind and fast forward. You can see the motor and the duct tape I wound around it a while ago. And you can also see around the uh, tables. There's also some rubber. Well, and I guess that all needs to be replaced. As well as, I think, also the rubber of this little idler wheel, which is getting dark outside. Let's turn on the light. Oh, that's too bright. Anyway, uh, you can see it. This little idler wheel which is responsible for uh, playback. Maybe it also needs to be replaced. Well, and finally I found out what's causing fast forward and rewind not to work. It wasn't this little idler wheel, even though the rubber on it is really, really bad. It was the rubber around the take-up reel and supply reel. And um, this is uh, the old rubber that was um, around this reel. And it's the rubber is really, really bad. The surface is not like, you know, like you're used from rubber. It feels like glass. It's really, really like glass see there's actually nothing where this no no tension can be put onto this reel with that bad rubber so I um, here I have a replacement um, I already replaced the rubber on this one this is the replacement rubber for this one I took this rubber out of another cassette deck which I had the rubber on this one, even though it's even older on, than on this machine, rubber is still perfectly good. Surface is really, really good. So, now I'm going to replace rubber on this reel. Another thing you can see is that the new rubber is a little bit thicker than the original one. I mean, that's also not, not bad. I mean, with this one, even the, the these little braces are working again. I mean, with this one, it's just, <laughs> just nothing. Dut, dut, dut. You can see, and on this one, it doesn't want to work that well, so that is a really good sign. So, now, let's replace that. And now, I've also replaced the rubber of the take-up reel, right here. Here it is. Also, this one is really, really bad. It's not as bad as the other one, but, well, still, it's, well, so now it uh, has good rubber with a rough surface, and, well, but now, finally, let's find out how it will work. Put in a cassette, and let's put it into fast forward to find out if it works. Oh, okay, here's fast forward. And it works. Turns faster than it ever did before. Now the other direction. Let's try rewind. And also that works. Faster than it ever did before. Now it's still really, really noisy because um, right here on this um, pulley where I have the duct tape. Uh, at the end of the duct tape there is a little uh, step. That step, whenever it 
bypasses this idle wheel makes a noise. So that's really, really stupid. Then right here we have the other idle wheel. Um, it's, it's still pretty good. Um, it's for playback. And, I mean, as you know, playback works. Uh, there you can see the whole mechanism. I want to show you the whole mechanism. See? Big solenoid. Oh, looks so cool. Lifts up the head and all that. Ah, oh, that looks really, really good. I really love those big solenoids. <laughs> Well, today I visited our local electronic shop. Of course, they had not the right rubber for this wheel, but we found a proper replacement. And, well, it works. You can see, I already um, took the duct tape off the, uh, the motor. And, uh, well, Let's put in our cassette and, well, let's find out how it will work now. Ah, can you hear this? It's not as loud as it used to be now. It's really, really quiet now compared to, well, what it was like before. And, uh, rewind. Now, I did not replace the rubber of this idler wheel because um, I think to take it out there I'd have to remove the whole head assembly and I don't want to do that. So that is still original, but it works. Now, I also replaced the belt which um, runs the flywheel. That uh, well, it's a flat belt. The original one was slightly loose and um, causing some flutter. So I replaced that, and I hope it works better now. I also lubricated this motor for rewind and fast forward. This motor was lubricated before, and uh, well, finally, um, I'll try to. Um, replace these rubber bands with normal belts. Um, I had to put in these rubber bands because, uh, well, back when I got the unit, the original belts were bad. And as you can see down there is the sensor for the auto stop. So if the counter doesn't turn, the whole machine stops. And um, back then I tried replacing the original belts with some other belts, but these belts were too tight, and then, you know, <laughs> rewind and fast forward wouldn't work at all. So I had to put in these bands, and, well, I'll try now to replace these bands with a normal belt. Well, now I replace the rubber bands with belts, and it seems like they're working, and not um, you know, having any bad influence onto the take-up reel, you know, making it hard to turn or something. Here I have a Maxell XL2S, and a lot of cassette decks are having problems with, um, um, with turning this, turning the take-up reel in there because the housing is so heavy. And I'll start playback. As you can see, it works. So, the new belts are working. You can see, the counter is turning. And the deck is still working, as you can see. <laughs> Meters are moving. Oh, well, this is a really nice machine. And a very bad camera. You can't see anything because it's blurry. But anyway, so also that 
problem is solved. Now the only thing I have to do now is to reduce the speed of the motor because the new belt um, because of the new belt the motor turns slower and so also playback is a little bit slower than it normally is and so that has to be adjusted. Thank you.